This is very rare, ladies and gentlemen, but we've had two great guests here. One of my dearest buddies, Brent Bozell, the Media Research Center, is with us. It's always a great honor, Brent, but we have a bit of a news-breaking story with we, with you, don't we? We do. Uh, it's something that Dan Schneider, to give him credit, Dan Schneider and his team have been working on for quite some time. Um, he, here's here's how it goes. Oh, for, first of all, good seeing you, Mark. Good talking to you. That was a pleasure, uh, buddy. Uh, Okay, so uh, during the Obama administration, there was a program that was begun called the Targeted Violence and Terrorism Prevention Grant Program. This was run out of the Department of Homeland Security, meant to, to root out domestic uh, track, you know, and, and root out domestic terrorism. There were Republicans and conservatives who were um, uh, who, who were very cautious about this and very skeptical because they believed that this administration or the, the Obama administration could use it against Republicans and against conservatives. Well, ultimately, it, it was it was done um, when Donald Trump became president. Uh, he got rid of it. Uh, it came back. The program came back at the end of his administration. And now it's in full force under the Biden administration. So everyone is trying to find out from the Department of Homeland Security what their up to on all matter fronts, and the DHS uh, is it lies through its teeth. Mayorkas goes to Congress, it lies through its teeth about the border and other manner of things. So you can't trust them. So we looked at this program. We found that they have distributed some forty million dollars to eighty different groups on this front. We asked thirty one of them uh, what it was that they were doing with public money. Uh, like DHS, they were unresponsive. Uh, uh, they wouldn't tell what, what they're doing. Well, we found out uh, of at least one case so far. What we have found out really, Mark, is shocking. Let me go through this. Yeah. In December of 2021, the University of Dayton in Ohio, which just happens to be in Jim Jordan's district, uh, 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 put on a seminar on domestic violence through one of their programs. This is what they had had on there. They had one speaker who compared uh, uh, Donald Trump to Paul Pot, the the genocide oh, uh, leader in Cambodia. They had one speaker who compared um, uh, Ron DeSantis to to uh, the Holocaust. Um, but then they had this one speaker, Michael Lodenthal, who did a training seminar. He advocated uh, for a, a more aggressive approach against conservatives to deny that, to shut down their websites, to close their meetings, and to physically prevent them from assembling in public. Let me repeat that phrase. Physically present, prevent them from assembling in public. Who are these people they're trying to prevent from assembling in, in public? They presented a pyramid of organizations on four levels, each level, uh, the higher one being more intensely uh, uh, pro-fascist, pro-Nazi. Pro, pro the first level includes the Heritage Foundation, oh, which one. is perhaps the most prestigious think tank in America. It includes Fox News, which would mm -hmm. mean you. It includes the Christian Broadcasting Network. It includes the Republican National Committee. So therefore, every Republican is linked to what is about to happen on this chart. The second level now gets more intense. Now it starts targeting groups like Turning Point USA, Charlie Kirk, Breitbart, um, Tea Party Patriots, American Conservative Union. They're now going after them and, and, and several more. The third level is pro-Nazi organizations extremists and the fourth one is nazi organizations so there you have the pyramid of where the with domestic uh, uh, uh turmoil in america is and it starts with the heritage foundation this guy lodenthal is not just any old person lodenthal is a member of antifa who has oh, written great. extensively in defense of oh, this is such a, a, a paradox here he's written extensively in defense of the earth liberation front elf which the which FBI is a violent organization right. yeah and the fbi is recognized that recognized as a domestic terrorist organization mm -hmm. and he's a speaker at this so you ramp this whole thing together they they finish it they send an application 
to the Department of Homeland Security using this, and we're granted three hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars. And that's just one example. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it, Brent? What's going on in this government with the trillions of dollars they're spending? There must be so much more of this. And there and 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 it's unaccounted. This is a government where you have no idea where the money's going. You have mm-hmm. no idea. This program, uh, my guess is, is tiny in comparison to things that, go, that are going on. And and I said there are eighty different organizations. This was just one. There are eighty organizations. Why is it? And by the way, when we came out with that this story this morning, uh, the University of Dayton scrubbed its website. Tell us about the targeting of Christians and Christianity. Well, it's in here as well. The first layer attacks the Christian Broadcasting Network. CBN. Great network. What in, what in the world has, has CBN ever done to get itself linked on a, on, a, on a triangle chart with Nazis? Well, it's because they're Christians and no other reason. Why is it that on level number two, you have mega? Why is MAGA on there? Because it's MAGA. Because it's Trump supporters. They hate Christians, Mark. They, by the way, uh, (laughs) you choose, you're right behind it. Anyone who's practicing and who's defending the Judeo-Christian tradition in America is under assault. Look, when he went to Columbia uh, or or to to, to whatever the school it was last week and Joe Biden said that, that racism is the number one domestic threat. In America, look what he was doing. He wasn't just attacking white people. He was attacking the values of those white people, the perceived values of those white people as being racist. And when you're talking about white people, their mind's eye is evangelicals. That's who they're thinking about, Mm -hmm. and that's who they're targeting. When they say that Donald Trump and MAGA are Nazis, and this is a, a, is a constant refrain from Joe Biden. They're talking about MAGA as Christians. That's how they're seeing the MAGA mm-hmm. supporters. And now you're seeing it in this document, in this conference. This is the narrative now. And you're right. It is Marxism. This is, these are Marxist tactics. And their, their decision has been made. They are going to destroy Christians. They're going to destroy conservatives, and they're going to destroy Republicans. This one document targets over half of the United States as being aligned with the values of Nazism. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reduso, let us make sure that we link to MRC and to this story in particular. We're on with the great Brent Bozal. I can't thank you enough for what you do, Brent. God bless you, my friend. Uh, thank, Thank you, Mark. Have a good day. All right. Take care of yourself. 